What's going on guys? Today, we have just got an update for the Tesla Model 3. And I keep hearing about Auto Steer Plus for Autopilot. So let's go test it out and see if we've got it. Get in! Right guys, let's go test this out. So, um, if you haven't already, subscribe, like, all that kind of stuff. I'm sorry I've not been uploading guys. It's been a tough um, few weeks at the business. So I've, this has kind of fell to the wayside a little bit. Um, so, what is Auto Steer Plus? So this is something that's just hit Tesla's website. Uh, and Auto Steer Plus, I think, is for people who have autopilot. Uh, and in the future, it'll be for people who have autopilot but don't have full self-driving. Um, so Auto Steer Plus is basically autopilot but it'll do tighter corners so i've got the perfect little place to test this out where there is lots of tight corners so that's where we're going to head um and test this out so we had the update last night and it was yesterday on twitter that i noticed somebody was talking about this auto steer plus so today we're going to test it out and also i will test it out on roundabouts so let's go okay so i've just noticed something quite cool guys the um the system looks a little bit different um but i was round a blind corner back there and the car knew there was traffic lights coming up and you definitely could not see the traffic lights so the car is doing the traffic lights off gps right now um which is really cool that it's doing that. this was the same as last time but the graphics are a little bit different it looks more like uh reality like it looks like an, an actual model three it's like really nicely done and it's picking up these cars really good so we've got a small car boom big suv boom okay this is how you do it. you just click that down there there you go and you're ready to go let's see how it does on this little section here because there's two lanes merging i've got a car trying to go up the right hand side of me let's see if it pushes him out a little bit this is really good let's see what happens oh that is good that is good okay it handled that like a real driver. Okay, this feels really good. This feels really good. But the ultimate test will be the roundabouts and also this section. We've been to this section before, guys. Let's see if it slows down. Stopping for the traffic light. So I'll just click through that. So it slowed down for him. Speed him back up. Lovely. Yeah, so this section that we're going to right now, we've done a few times before, uh, and the car's still not really made it round fully. Um, since the last update, I wanna see how much better it's improved at this section. So it's a really windy, tight road. Um, so yeah, that little ding in is every single time it sees a traffic light, in the UK, you have to confirm it with your stalk or your accelerator. Look at this. I mean, it doesn't usually have a problem with that corner, so that's fine. It does feel more certain. It feels, I trust it a bit more. Okay, here's a good section to test it on. The lines on the right-hand side sort of vanish a little bit. There we go. No problem. Right, I'm gonna take it down here, guys. So I have to, I have to stop it now. The traffic lights like fade from the back. It's really cool. Right, okay, this is the strip, guys. There's like no road markings, really rough roads. Let's see if it lets me get in first of all. No, it stops me from getting in. As soon as it lets me get in, I'll... Nope. Where are you? Okay, there we go. Right, we're going. So it's, it, the one thing straight away, I would say it's got the speed wrong. Oh no, now it's seen the 40 sign. So it's got the speed right. I'm gonna adjust it. I've got it so it goes a little bit over the speed limit, but... Let's see, so no problems, seems okay. Really rough roads. My hands are on the wheel, guys, as, as they're supposed to be, but I'm not controlling the car. The car is doing this itself. It's a quite a tight bend. Apply a bit of pressure for it. So the first real tight bend is just coming up. This is the one I'm interested to see what it does. So apparently it hand, 
Auto Steer Plus handles the, the, steer, the tighter turns better. So again, guys, I don't know if we've got it in the UK. I'm not. I'm not even certain if we've got it in the UK. A little bit close to that line. So here's the first one. I'm gonna. No. So I would say. We haven't got auto steer plus in the UK. It feels better. I think. I think the problem is the restriction is the um, the EU laws or like the, the the restrictions that we have at the moment in the UK are on how much percentage of a turn or degrees the steering wheel is allowed to turn. I think that's what's happening. We're restricted by that. I feel like it's use, it's probably using the same system, but in the UK we've got that um, that input that we're not allowed to turn past a certain point. So I don't know what to say. Like, unfortunately, I just don't think we're going to experience it. Uh, we've got no road markings come up. Let's see what it does here. So there's no road markings now. There is no road markings whatsoever. Big puddle coming up. What's it doing? It's all over the place. He's on the wrong side of the road. He's on the wrong side of the road. What's he doing? Oh God! Sorry, I had to take. Sorry, I had to take over. That was a car coming. Right. He's on the wrong. It reverted back to its U.S. settings. Right, guys. I'm just heading back down this same road. So there's a big roundabout I want to test out at the bottom of here. But there you go. There's a woman in the road. See, so would it definitely wouldn't have stopped for her. I don't think. So let's test it out. Right, we can get in. Big puddle. Wow. It slowed down for that. It slowed down for a big puddle. That was cool. So it's not, it's never done that before. So it's slowing down for the puddles. It's just slowed down again. Huh. Hmm, is it coincidence that it's slowing down and it thinks they're an object or something? Or is it recognizing that they're puddles and they're dangerous for the car? Is it, I think it's slowing down for puddles. Oh, got smuck all over the car. I'm, I'm really impressed by that. It just slowed down. I'm, I'm pretty certain it slowed down for puddles. It recognized that there was a lot of water and it slowed down. Comment down below. Who thinks it slowed down? Right, cyclists up ahead. Is it gonna run them over or is it gonna slow down? Slow down. Okay, it wasn't slowing down as much as I would like it to, so I'm gonna take over. Right, well it slowed down for a puddle, I'm pretty certain. Hmm. See if we've got any more puddles to test that out, that my theory out on. Here's a puddle coming off. It's avoided it. Here's the roundabout, guys. National speed limit roundabout. I'm gonna stick it right in the roundabout. And just, uh, don't do this at home, basically. Okay, I'm gonna just check if oncoming traffic is coming. Okay, so luckily it's slowing down for the van in front. Okay, so we've got a bit fluky there. Okay. I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, go, go. Oh God. Ah, oh, no. Nope, right. Well, there you go, guys. No roundabouts. Let's, um, let's take it home. Right, guys, there it is. So that's the update. So we are on, uh, we're on the latest software in the UK. We're on 2021.4.6. So version 10.2. So we're on the latest version. We got an update last night. Now we've had two updates come through over the last few days. Um, and I think the full self-driving and the autopilot is better. So I think there was there was definitely autopilot updates, some sort of patches, um, some issues people have been having, they'd sort of fixed. Uh, it feels more confident, but 
I could probably say we haven't got Auto Steer Plus. Now, what I think has happened is Auto Steer Plus might have rolled out to everyone, but we are being restricted by the EU regulations or whatever it is, the regulations, the driving regulations, where the wheel is only allowed to turn a certain degrees. And I'm pretty sure that's why in the UK we can't have certain features on autopilot and full-self drive. So that's just unfortunate. That looks like it the way the, the way it is until regulations change. It's not gonna we're not gonna get that nice feeling full self driving or autopilot feeling. Uh, so that's yeah, it's just unfortunate I guess. So again, my opinion with this is until we see regulations change, so we can actually have new features come through. These autopilot changes, these full self driving changes in the UK are so incremental that they don't make that much difference. It feels more confident and it's slowed down for puddles. So some stuff is getting pushed through. We're definitely getting some put stuff pushed through. So it's slowed down for puddles. Never done that before in its life, ever. Now comment down below. Do you think that was just the fact that it thought that they were obstacles? It did it twice. Or is it recognizing surface water as an obstacle? Did it think it was like a tree or something? Or did it think it was a surface obstacle? Uh, surface water is now classified as an obstacle, so it's recognizing that. I think it recognized it personally. It felt exact, it felt like a human would do it. Slowed down, went through the water, then sped back up. Amazing, but at the same time, just not a big enough feature change where we're gonna go, oh my God, you've gotta get this. So, opinion, at 6,800 pounds in the UK, is full self-driving worth it yet? No. Should you buy it? No, I don't think so. Am I regretting buying full self-driving? Yes, maybe a little bit. At the moment, it's just not worth it. And I have thought about selling the Model 3 a few times. And the fact that I sank some money into the full self-driving is one of the reasons I've not done it yet. Because no one really values it on the used market. So am I regretting it? Maybe a little bit. Um, so anyway. Guys, the videos are gonna slow down a little bit just because I'm a little bit busy at work, but I'm gonna keep them coming. So if you like the idea of that, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Um, if you're thinking about buying a Tesla, there's a link in the description for a thousand free supercharging miles and it gets me a thousand free supercharging miles. I do appreciate it. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.